Yo, 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 people, welcome back to a new video on the Big Step channel, and today we're talking about player ratings. <laughs> player ratings for the game against Manchester City. Um, a bit late, a bit late. Also, this is a bit of my final closing remarks on the game as well. Also gonna kind of preview the, a video I'm gonna be dropping after this, um, on the same channel. But, yeah. We're here to talk about player ratings and my final feedback on the Manchester City game. Stuck inside a maze, I've been up for days. Cardings on my face, no, you can't see a thing. But I see all the hate and the fake ass niggas talking in my face. But I cannot be phased, I gotta be brave. Provide for the fans so they don't have to slave. Mom told me behave, but I'm a wild out till a nigga in the grave. But I'm a wild out till a nigga in the grave. I'ma be a great. So let's just start off with Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey. Over the last couple of weeks, he's been a he's mm, he's been a mixed bag, I should say. In games like um, Southampton, he proves to have a mistake in him. West Ham, he had a mistake in him. But against Liverpool and Man City, absolutely class. He's made some absolutely world class saves. I did think against my against uh, City for the first goal, he could have saved it, but that was just a very accurate strike by De Bruyne. Um. A lot of the other goals he really couldn't do anything with. The second goal he couldn't do anything with. The third goal, there's no bat left. Couldn't see it. Shot it straight through Holding's legs. Couldn't see it. And then Haaland. So really, he wasn't really at fault for any of the goals really against Manchester City. I thought he kept us in it a lot, especially in the first half. Um, but he couldn't see four goals. Um, I'll give Ramsdale a six. Because... Again, even though he conceded four goals, I don't think he could have stopped the four goals. And the goals he did stop, he stopped it from being eight or nine, one. So, I guess I'll give Ramsey a six for that performance on Wednesday. Right back, Ben White. I thought Ben White barely got into the game. He made a clutch block on Haaland um, early in the first half. But other than that, other than that, nothing really, especially offensively from what we've seen Ben White down this year. They got pinned back very early. They couldn't keep the ball, couldn't string together 10 passes in succession. Barely could do that. Um, I thought it was just a tough night for the defense in general. Just all, around, just all over tough, tough, tough night. So I give Ben White, I guess I got to give Ben White five because just had a tough game and he was going up against... Um, very, very unfortunate city side, but that even though the city, even though city didn't really play with wingers and you didn't have to deal with much, it just felt like we were exposed a lot and the defense was exposed a lot. So it just put him in bad areas all over the pitch and stopped him from getting what he wanted to, and stopped him from doing what he wanted to do in the um, attacking aspect of the game. So I just think Ben White, Ben White, on Wednesday was a five. No, we're all holding. Rob Holding had the unfortunate task of going up against Haaland. I thought Haaland, every single chance he got, out-muscled him like he wasn't even there, especially on the first goal. It was just a tough night. Even though Rob Holding scored, he scored a goal. It was a consolation at best because they went back down the next end and scored right after that, so it was barely even a consolation. Um, I just thought his overall game... It was always going to be tough guarding Haaland, especially as not being a, your first choice center back. But I can, I can only judge the performance. I have to give the performance like a four. I just thought Haaland bullied him. I just thought Haaland straight bullied him. I thought it was a very, very tough assignment, but truth of the matter is you got bullied. And then moving on to his partner, Gabriel. I thought Gabriel, unfortunately, was all over the place. I thought he had no lead. I thought he wasn't leading the bat line. I thought he wasn't leading the bat line at all. Um, he was pulled all over the place because of because of Haaland's movement and Holding's movement. I saw at one point when they had a chance when um, the Ben White block. Haaland makes a turn and he finds midfield space. And he finds midfield space. Holding comes running out to meet him. He just flicks it in behind and then the whole and then where's the where's the defense all exposed literally all exposed 
um Holland turns both of them inside out boom boom like they look dumb like it looked really it looked really 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 bad for both of these center bots on Wednesday um so as a partnership I give both of them five four or five whatever I gave them but it's not good enough it's not good enough um Zinchenko I thought Zinchenko I, I thought Zinchenko really really couldn't get into the game because I think Zinchenko couldn't get into the game for the same reasons as Ben White, but I think that has to do more on the coaching than really the players' performances, especially a lot of this. They thought, Arteta thought we could rock up to the Etihad, play the same style of football we've been playing all season. And maybe in the long term, like they said, um, like I heard um, James from AFTV talking about, maybe in the long term, it might benefit us in terms of not bowing down to anyone, not being scared of anyone, playing our game, playing our game, playing our game, and then it might benefit us in the long run. I think it might, it might as well. It might well. But I just thought, especially in this game, Pep saw a weakness, like I said, in the middle of the park. I played with two players, and they absolutely played in, immaculate. They, they, they played to our faults. And I thought there were faults in that city team we could have played to that we didn't manage to play to. There were formation changes that I thought we could have went to that, Clearly, we didn't work on enough in the season to go to. And maybe Arteta didn't want to compromise that, our style of play thing. But, you know, at the end of the day, as a fan, you want to win the game. It's a player, you want to win the game. So it's a bit tough. So back to Zinchenko. Zinchenko was trying to get into the midfield to build up, to try to keep the ball. But I just thought that wasn't working. They just flushed him out of midfield and forced him right back out. I thought, I thought we were just getting overrun. I just thought it was, I thought it was very tough. Very, very, very tough game. So I give Zinchenko probably like five, probably like five two. I didn't think he did anything. Um, midfield party. I thought he was the worst player on the pitch. If I'm being harsh but honest, I love all these players, but I thought Partey was the worst player on the pitch. I give Partey four because I thought the midfield performance on De Bruyne. It, it looked during the game that he didn't want to guard De Bruyne, like he didn't want to match up against De Bruyne, it looked like he was passing him off, he was calling Saka, he was calling back Saka to help out, he was calling Rob to push up to help out on De Bruyne, bro that's your man, you're like, I understand in terms of a pressing system we set up with a certain, with certain um, three, when there's um, certain triggers all over the pitch, you have Jesus, you have Xhaka, you have Odegaard, and then he's a bit up to, so everybody can press, but it felt like the team wasn't compact enough, it felt like there was always going to be a gap in our transitional play. There was always a gap, especially on when we when we win back the ball, there was, again, going to Odegaard. I thought Odegaard had a stinker of a game. He couldn't keep the ball. Xhaka couldn't keep the ball. And Partey, when he, when he barely even won it, but when he did have it, I thought his passing was sloppy. I thought his decision-making was sloppy, and he looked a bit, he looked a bit either leggy, tired, hurt, nervous. He looked something like what was wrong with him, so I give Partey like a three, three or four. Odegaard, he gets a four because he gives he gives away the ball for the third goal right after halftime. After coming out of the break, thinking that he could come up with some intensity, show some fight, show some class, he could come out and probably win the game. He gives away the goal. Other than that, I don't think Odegaard did anything. So again, that's give Odegaard a five. Xhaka didn't do anything. Nearly got himself sent off. Got himself subbed off. Didn't do anything. I give him a five, four, whatever you want to give him. Um... Martinelli didn't get into the game. I think he had one one-on-one -on -one opportunity where I remember watching the game and I was telling him, drive at it, drive at it, drive at him. And they just closed him up quickly. Like City gave him no time on the ball. Both both wingers on the flank. So I give both Bakayo Saka and Martinelli a five because I just thought they had the same impact in the game. They did absolutely nothing. And again, like when I'm giving all these players things, I'm just talking about the performance. I don't dislike these players, I don't hate these players, nor am I trying to get a reaction. But if we're talking about the performance itself, I can only go for what was said. I'm talking about Gabriel Jesus, I thought Gabriel Jesus was one up there trying. I saw for a few instances when he falls, he was getting the ball on by his lonesome, trying to drive up players, trying to create something, trying to do something. But it was always going to be a tough task against. Um, John Stones and Ruben Diaz, especially in that form. It was, it was always going to be a tough task. Always, always, always going to be a tough task. Always going to be a tough task. Um, Trossard, when he came off the bench, barely impacted the game. Standard six. Um, 
Reese Nelson, I thought when he came on the bench, looked lazy. I thought when he came off the bench, looked lazy, but didn't really impact the game enough. Didn't really impact the game enough for me. A six. Oh, yeah. Tr I take that back. Trossard got the assist for the goal, but other than that, that was a consolation. So I have to respect that, but standard six. Other than that, he didn't really do anything. Um, who else? Eddie and Katia came on. Couldn't remember him doing anything, really. Um, standard six. What other changes do we make? Can't remember. Uh, and, um... The manager. Um, I thought Arteta just got it wrong. No, in a bad way, yes. He, he got it wrong. Honestly, he got it wrong. I thought... Um, the midfield was, a, was an obvious problem from literally minute one. And I thought he waited too long to make any adjustments. And I don't think he made any adjustments at all, especially in the first half. Partey nearly gave away a penalty. Um... You know, constantly getting through the middle of us every single time. Thought that was another tough one to take. So just overall, yeah, 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 you can't really praise a poor performance when there's in-game management. We knew coming into the game, in-game management was going to be key to getting a result against Manchester City. Seeing, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and making adjustments on the flight, especially against Pep Guardiola. And I just feel like us as a side didn't do it and it cost us three points on the day but we have to take it forward now and move to Chelsea yeah this is what it is this is what it is this is what it is but guys next video you guys will be seeing on the channel would be my three midfielders I think Arsenal should sign because again I talk about the midfield performance today and I do think we need bodies. Arteta obviously knows we need bodies. That's why we were looking to sign a midfielder from January. We were looking to sign a midfielder since last summer. We were looking to sign Telemans. And we're still looking for um, a midfielder to fill that role that we still want. So we're still looking. So to even do what we did this season is amazing. Knowing there's so much more we need in terms of depth and squad role and development. Especially being a young side. And... Yeah, three midfielders that I think... So, the next video, sorry, I had to draw, draw a blank there just now. But three midfielders that um, Arsenal should be looking at. That's, that video should be dropping, I think, tomorrow. Um, yeah, other than that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think your player ratings were. Tell me what you think was... Oh, I didn't even give a money the match. I think money the match in general was De Bruyne. But... Who was Arsenal's best player? Mm. I think everybody was poor. Honestly, I think everybody had a bad, had a very off game, bad game, and I just think it had more to do with more us being tactically outclass than anything else. We just were tactically outclass, and we were just second best. That's what made us second best. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. And see you in the next one.